Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. This is my wife's Jeep Gladiator. Uh, brand new. I said that I wasn't going to make the channel all about the Gladiator, and I'm not, but I am going to take the opportunity to use my small micro celebrity platform to highlight a shitty product. Because um, I don't want anybody else to make this mistake. So, this bumper is a Barricade Trail Force HD bumper. Um, it's a winch bumper. It's sold by Extreme Terrain. It's sold as fitting the factory fog lights. It kind of sort of does. I had to modify it. It wasn't a big deal. Wasn't going to make the review about that. Uh, the brackets are kind of shitty the way you have to feed them through. Whatever. It, it was It was fine. Until I put it's rated for a 9,500 pound winch, it has a 9,500 pound X bowl winch on here. Um, well, it looks like I'm 500 pounds over anyway. They're only rated for what they pull on the first line, anyway. So, as you wrap the drum up, they pull less. Um, you can see in here the very first pull, it completely kinked that fucking bumper up. Um, this thing was stuck, it was on the frame, and I pulled my winch line out, and I did what I got a winch to do, and it bent, and somebody might be like, JR, you're 500 pounds over the weight, but it's hard to show that, it's very hard to show it, but that thing's pulled up about two inches, and later on, after I wash this, probably next weekend, I'll take this off and beat it back down and figure out how to brace it up but if you're looking at any of the trail force bumpers on extreme terrain i would stay away and uh yeah i would just not do that i have the ability to fix this i forget what they said the thickness of this is i think it's like i don't remember i think it was like Five thirty seconds or something so a little more than an eighth an inch a little less than three sixteenths I would have built this out of three sixteenths most winch plates themselves are quarter inch I'm a huge advocate of not overbuilding stuff but this seemed like it was underbuilt from the start and I thought that I might have to essentially make another winch plate out of three sixteenths steel that I have um, to act as a washer and obviously I did so um yeah, I'll probably maybe do another video on fixing this fucking mess. I'm really upset. I mean, it was a cheap bumper. I think it was like 290 bucks or whatever. And some of you will be like, you get what you're paying for. Well, that's not always true. It's mostly not true. But in this case, yeah, I got shitty steel and it didn't hold up. So I will fix it, and if you're thinking about buying one, unless you literally just want a winch to look cool at the mall, if you're going to actually winch shit with it, I would avoid it. Um, so yeah, extreme terrain. Also, those barricade sliders are not that great either, but at least they didn't bend and fall off. So I have that to be thankful for. Anyway, if you're shopping for winch bumpers for your Wrangler or Gladiator, don't buy anything from extreme terrain.